Hey guys, I'm Clemente Stewart and this is The Artist Shire. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you three lessons photographers can take out of their book Essentialism by Greg McKeon. Essentialism is more than a knowledge-based theory. It is a practical thing and has many advantages to business and personal life. Now, Greg defines essentialism as a disciplined, systematic approach for determining where our highest point of contribution lies, then making execution of those things almost effortless. The idea is that if you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. So, let me just get straight into it. Lesson number one, less is better. Less is better. How is less even better? We live in a world where having more means you're happy. This, this is what we know. This is what is communicated almost every day. We live in a time where we own a lot but have no satisfaction. Why is less even better in the first place? How can we say this? When it comes to photography, there are lots of niches available to everyone. So does that mean you should do it all? No. That's impossible and not wise. You should choose one and give it your attention. Trying to do it all with, without reason, you know, will not allow you to attain mastery in anything. In fact, trying to do it all will not allow you mastery in anything. McKeon writes that only once you give yourself permission to stop trying to do it all, to stop saying yes to everyone, can you make your highest contribution towards the things that really matter. Alright, so lesson two, am I investing in the right activities? Essentialism is not about how to get more things done, it's about how to get the right things done. I'm going to take that again. Essentialism isn't about how to get more things done, it's about how to get the right things done. It's about making the wisest possible investment of your time and energy in order to operate at your highest by doing what is important or essential. Find the things that are not important to you and to your business and eliminate them so that you can have time for the right activities, the things that will help your life and your business. Trying to do more does not guarantee you will have more or earn more. Trying to do, in fact, people who do more are distracted by more. That's just it. So lesson number three, living by design instead of going with the wind essentialism distinguishes the vital few from the trivial many it eliminates the non-essentials in other words it removes the obstacles so that the important or essential things have a clear and smooth passage this way you live by a plan or by a design what i realized in all of the book is that living your life with intention is the most important thing you can do as a person or an individual creating your business with intention or intent it's surprising how we don't do things intentionally broke people or poor people were never intentional about anything in the first place they let their lives just be they moved with the wind they flowed with the wind if anything comes you know i'm good with it if you don't prioritize your life someone else will to be intentional is to choose something and neglect another. That is what decisions are about. When I choose this, I'm saying no to another thing. I can't do everything. Like I shared in lesson one, you need to choose a niche since doing more will not make you a master. This is why decisions are necessary. Choose one thing and go big on that. Focus on what is important now. Thank you for listening to this episode and see you in the next video.